Hello everyone, Alistair Gold here. Um, you might know me from doing Tottenham Hotspur videos, which I normally talk about the Premier League club and everything they do. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I'm away here in beautiful Sorrento, and I thought perhaps I'd be able to help out other people who might be thinking about going to Sorrento or any of the surrounding places around Sorrento, which I'll be going to, uh, including Capri, uh, Pompeii, and I'm giving you a little bit of sense of what the area is like and what you can see. Don't worry, it's not going to be a lot of this mug in the way of the camera, just the odd, very brief moments where I'm talking, and that won't be much. Pretty much, I'll just be showing you what's around. So if you're considering or thinking about a holiday to Sorrento, this gives you a little sense. As you can tell, lots of beautiful little back roads, or uh, well, actually little side streets, I think they're called, really, with lots of lemons selling, as I'm about to pass in a moment. And it is absolutely beautiful. I've only been here a little while, staying in a hotel um, Tritoni, Palazzo Tritoni and Abignale, which is fantastic. Little boutique, hotel, three star. It's great price. If it is the kind of hotel that's for you, please do look at it. If not, there's plenty of other ones that actually have views also that look over the water. And it is, it's a beautiful place already. I haven't been here long, um, but already getting that sense from it. So yeah, this is essentially going to be a video of me looking around some of the areas and uh, hopefully helping anyone out that's still contemplating or thinking about going to Italy. You know, myself and my wife and my kids, we, we love Italy. Um, we do try and get around as many of the, the cities as we can, but this is our first time to Sorrento. So thus far, very early impressions, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the weather is gonna be very kind to us, hopefully as well, it looks like already. Um, and yeah, so, here you go, this is uh, Sorrento, Capri, uh, Pompeii, um, and everything else that hopefully we'll get to show you as we look around this uh, beautiful part of Italy. And hopefully it might give you food for thought uh, to perhaps do it yourself, or it might convince you it's not a place you wanna go to, but either way, as long as it helps you, that's kind of the aim of this video. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy. Something a little bit different today as we're heading into the ruins of Pompeii. Um, as you can see, got like an audio thing around my neck, which is uh, essentially like an old mobile phone that they give you as you walk in. Um, and uh, sorry, just ruining someone's photo as I walk around. Uh, yeah, so they give you an audio guide if you want to pay for one. It's um, eight euros for one, 13 euros for two. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of just the entrance way. I'm going to head inside. I'm not going to show you too much because I don't really want to ruin your kind of first impression of it. But uh, <laughs> it is certainly very cool looking and uh, a beautiful day here in Pompeii as well. Well, we're here in mid April and it's like 19, 20 degrees, which is lovely. So I do recommend it as a time to come, but obviously you never know whether the weather could be quite changeable as well. Um, I'm about to get run over by a horde of tourists coming in here to look of one of which I course am and I'm also standing someone actually doing an official tour um, 
and uh, I'm just using an audio guide. That is obviously another alternative you can do. You can uh, get someone to show you around and uh, talk to you as you go. Um, so there you go. Right, I'm going to head off and explore and see what's in there and uh, I shall let you know afterwards. Pompeii is very cool, I must admit. Um, probably best I didn't actually show you in there, not only because you want to experience it for yourself, but also I don't know what kind of rights issues there would have been had I actually started filming in there. Um, but no, it's very cool, especially if you like history, you know, I've kind of a weird kind of upbringing myself in terms of at school, I did Latin for uh, five years. Yes, it was that kind of school. Um, and we learned a lot about Pompeii, a lot about uh, the way the people lived, uh, impluviums, compluviums, little things like that, which you'll now understand exactly what I mean if you go in there. Um, it's very cool. It's, very, it's obviously you've got to do a lot of imagining. You've got to imagine kind of how things would have looked. Uh, I also made the mistake perhaps of watching the recent movie Pompeii with uh, Kit Harrington and um, Keith Sutherland, which wasn't the best, but what it did show was, you know, some of the horrific, well, essentially end uh, for the people of this city. And you do get to see, you know, some of the moulds of Unfortunately, people that got caught in the ash when it came down and everything and um, yeah obviously it gives you the scale of just how awful it must have been and and it does also take you into different areas of cities you wouldn't normally see in your life like there's, there's a brothel you know they take you into a brothel you have a little walk through that as well and uh, amphitheaters baths um, gladiators quarters slaves quarters it is it's very cool it is very cool in that aspect um, and yeah if you're a bit of a history buff it'll be fantastic and like I say mid-April the weather is absolutely incredible um, not too packed either we came started off at about um, you know you will get the odd crying baby of course um, but yeah what do we get here we got here about half ten um, and we're leaving at almost two o'clock so there's plenty to do weather's fantastic um, not too busy in there um, obviously what we did was pre-book tickets I'd recommend that and then we got the audio guide as well which was very cool and kind of it's uh, it's quite clever they give you a phone essentially like a, a bit of an old-fashioned phone but it has a, a map on it and everywhere you go within um, you can tap on the number next to where you are it aligns with it and the voice in your ear will talk to you about what happened there and what it all means and and every little bit of history you could possibly want to know. I think there's up to about, it's more about 150 different little audio things you can listen to if you want. And uh, it's very detailed. It's very well done. The chap who talks sounds like someone, you know, from the History Channel and you will get that. And then sometimes it will change to a, an American guy and uh, you get a bit of variety in that respect. Uh, but no, it was very good. It's very entertaining. Uh, and saying is maybe the wrong word for it because obviously you're looking at a city that got buried under uh, volcanic ash and lava so maybe not entertaining but enlightening enlightening um, it's probably the best way to put it and you do see Vesuvius in the background um, you see it you know looming there large and then you obviously know what a kind of a part of their lives it was obviously in a good way but to begin with and then obviously a horrific way when it all ended but uh, yeah do recommend it honestly give it a big thumbs up um, it's not expensive really at all I'm trying to remember what our original ticket was um, it wasn't too much at all I feel like it was about 14 15 maybe less pounds um, maybe about 12 13 pounds each and then obviously like I said at the start you get your audio tour which um, was eight euros for one and 13 euros for two so it's not the most expensive place in the world and you get to look around for quite a while as well and also see people working and starting to uh, you know, doing more excavations and obviously little polishing little bits and pieces as well to make it as good as it can be and no, it's very cool so I do recommend it so uh, yeah, thumbs up for Pompeii which yes sounds weird I know. What I'm doing right now, if you can't probably tell, is I am on a chairlift <laughs> on the island of Capri, heading up to uh, the top, 
at the very top of one of the mountains here. Um, well, the reason I'm doing this, as I'm about to explain to you, uh, you'll see coming up some of the various bits I did on the way to get here. We took a, a boat trip. There's many different options for you. Uh, a little bit windy as we're going up here, so hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. But yeah, there's plenty of boat trip options. Uh, the one we took was a Blue Grotto tour. So we went to go and see the Blue Grotto, which you'll see some uh, little footage of in a, in a moment or two. And it was incredible. It was incredible. It doesn't last long. It only lasts for about... I'd say two to three minutes at the most. Um, they make you pay a 14 euros entrance fee. And then what they do is you come off your boat, you transfer onto a, like a little row, like a little rowing boat essentially. Um, and the chap on that, it, he's gonna try and get a bit more money out of you as well. Uh, and you, you'll give him maybe 10 euros and he'll look at you and be like, mm, and you have to try and give a little bit more or he wants you to give a little bit more. It's I'd say it's, it's just about, if I'm perfectly honest, it's just about worth it because it's an incredible sight. You know, it's a, it's a natural, it's natural blue light that comes from underneath um, and it is pretty, it's an incredible sight. It's one of those where yes, you're paying a fair bit for it when you add it all up, but actually to be able to say you've been into this grotto within a kind of a cave, essentially, you have to lie back as you're going in the entrance, which looks scary, but it's actually not. You're absolutely fine. It's, you're not gonna bang your head or anything on there. Um, and it's very cool. It's very cool, as, as, you, as you'll see. And then the boat, our one especially, took us around lots of various other little grottos that you see from the outside. There's the green grotto, which you may see some images of in a moment, where the water is, yes, you guessed it, green. Um, and, yeah, it, it's beautiful. Capri is a beautiful island. Um, it'll take you right around the kind of the circumference of it. You'll see it all. You'll see uh, just some of the ports and, and everything. It's lovely. And then they drop you off and then you wander it through. Then you've got another couple of options. Your options are either you get on a, what's, it's like a blue bus thing, which is slightly more expensive. It works out about 14, I think it's exactly 14 euros per person, but the buses run every, I think it's every 20 minutes. So they're quite regular um, as, as things go. Um, I think it actually might be for every 15 minutes. So, but you, you're gonna get a seat. They're slightly less crowded. The alternative is you go on the public um, buses, which are a little bit busier. Um, I think they're, they're less money, but I think they're also perhaps, I don't know if they're like, slightly less frequent, maybe, maybe roughly the same every 15 minutes, but obviously there's a queue for those and there's a little bit more uh, time. So you've either got a choice of going on those, they're a bit cheaper, um, or go on these ones that cost a little bit more money, but you are pretty much gonna get a seat on them. Well, you are, you're pretty much guaranteed a seat. Um, and then you pay for a round trip, you get a sticker, which yes, hopefully is still on me. Um, so don't lose your sticker and uh, yeah it's a great way to get around and then obviously we're now on the <laughs> you can probably see people going by me as well it gives you an idea it's one of those where I think if you look at it it probably looks quite scary my my wife Carly was a little bit scared going on but I can see her in front of me now absolutely fine um, it's it's not a wobbly thing. You're not going all over the place. It's not like some kind of cable car where it goes back and forth, or even a ski lift. It's kind of got a bit of a ski lift feel to it, but actually it, it just kind of feels slightly more stable. So look, these are the kind of views you're going to get. And I'll just show you kind of how far down you are. You, you know, you're not, you're not massively off the ground. I'll be honest, if you were to, for some reason, tumble out, which you're not going to because you're very much sat back in a seat uh, with a bar across your lap as well. If you were, you're probably falling, I don't know, 15 feet down um, because this, the ground slopes up with you. And I don't actually know why I'm talking about the prospect of falling because you won't, you won't, unless you're, unless you're some kind of plonker that's actually gonna launch themselves out of it, which there's no reason to do whatsoever. But yeah, Capri is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it really is. Obviously I've done Sorrento, which um, you'll have some images and videos of hopefully. Um, and then um, Pompeii, which you'll have also seen, and now we're on to Capri today as well. Um, it's just a beautiful area, the whole kind of Amalfi Coast area. It is incredible. As you can see, blue skies, blue sea. What more could you want? You know, it is fantastic. And the food, the food is incredible. So many places to go, so many places to eat. Um, and the, yeah, the alcohol's not bad. If you like your alcohol, there's a lot of many, many different alcohol. I love the lemon jello over here. Um, lots of lemons, especially in Sorrento. They really are. It's a, it's a big theme. Um, yeah, that's very cool. It's, I, I, I heartily recommend coming to Capri. If you're coming here, 
you know, if you don't like boat trips, I'd maybe suggest going on. There's a ferry, which obviously, I know that's another boat, but it's obviously it's a bigger boat. It's going to be more sturdy uh, and you can kind of hide yourself with, with, away within it. Um, but otherwise, if you can and you enjoy, and you enjoy a kind of a boat trip, I would recommend. I think our boat trip was about 90 euros per person. Um, but you do get you get food and drink included in that as well and they like I say they take you on a proper trip around the entire outside of the island and then you come on the island and you get about three to three and a half hours to come in and explore it as well so it's not like they hurry you up and you've got to get off the island uh, yeah so I recommend it honestly Capri is beautiful and hopefully you'll see uh, more of it if you keep watching because I'll have plenty of videos for you to see So honestly, I really would 100% uh, endorse doing the chairlift. Even if you're someone that's a little bit scared of heights, honestly, you feel very secure and you're just getting views like that. And when you get to the top, I think, I don't even go as far to say it might be some of the best views I've ever seen in my life. I think spectacular is a word that probably doesn't do it justice. It's absolutely incredible. Um, you see out, you can see across back to Sorrento and the Amalfi Coast. You can see Vesuvius. You can see <laughs> everything pretty much you can see in your eye line because you're so high up, uh, but not in a dangerous feeling way at all. Um, it's a very kind of big area up there as well that you can walk around. Um, and yeah, and you buy the round trip um, chairlift ticket and you can go straight back down like we are right now. And uh, it's, it's class, honestly. I'm someone that kind of takes quite a lot to kind of wow me and uh, certainly you'd really feel a wow moment uh, especially when you get to the top and you look out across and see everything um, because the rock formations as well around the island are incredible um, and then just just looking down and, and you know I can only kind of I'm only giving you like the slightest possible view by looking here it is incredible I'm going to try and take some other videos which don't have my stupid mug in it and you can actually see what I'm talking about because uh, yeah it's incredible So that's Sorrento, really, and Capri and Pompeii, um, and the end of an incredible, what, four days, three nights for us. It's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful place. Went to some incredible ref, uh, restaurants that I can recommend. Um, Parmarucha La Favita in town. We went to the Foreigners Club, which is fantastic. It's kind of not exactly what it sounds. It's, um, it's a place where you walk in, it almost feels like a bit of a social club kind of thing, but when you go through, it's a restaurant, incredible looking restaurant, it's very posh looking, even though the prices don't reflect that, uh, with an incredible view. And then we've come down to Marina Grande as well, which is where I'm sat right now, where we went to a restaurant called Taverna Azura de Janeiro, I want to get that exactly right. Beautiful kind of seafood and fish they have down here, because as you can see with Vesuvius behind me, it's it's just a stunning stunning location and, and we've had a great time the weather has been fantastic i mean 20 21 degrees pretty much every day for us and we're here in mid-april so i can only imagine what it's going to be like in the summer and uh, actually some of the uh, guys that run the restaurants down there just told me that in um, september and october it's incredible as well um so fully recommend it incredible place um you know i mean just look just look around me just look i mean this is <laughs> This is, this is pretty much, when you think of Italy and you think of the Amalfi Coast, this is exactly what you think of. It's, the people are so lovely, uh, the food is so good, 
prices aren't expensive whatsoever. They're really not. Um, and yeah, as I say, you know, you've looked and you've seen what I've done. The only thing, funnily enough, that we didn't get to do is right there behind us is Vesuvius because we made a mistake that obviously you guys and girls shouldn't really make. Hopefully, if you've watched this, you'll know not to make it. We went to Pompeii and on the day tried to then go to Vesuvius and you're better off, well much you have to really, book your tickets to go up to Vesuvius the day before or at least I'd maybe say 48 hours before because even when we looked for the next day we couldn't have gone. It would have had to have been today and we're leaving to head home so it would have been a little bit tight for us. But yeah, no, by all means, book it up, go to the website, um, just Google it, you'll see there's a Vesuvius website. There's a, a coach that takes you right up from uh, Pompeii Scavi Station, takes you right up to the, the kind of halfway, I think it is, on Vesuvius, and then you walk the rest. I've had differing reviews. It's absolutely up to, you know, you guys what you want to do, because I've had some people that say, yeah, you go up there and you look inside in the crater, you know, it's not going to be a, you're not going to see lava or anything like that. It's very much an overgrown kind of grassy crater. Um, but there's other people that have said quite understandably as well it's one of those things you just want to tick off as a, as a thing to have done to have gone to one of the most famous volcanoes in history you know 79 AD covered Pompeii and, and, and much of you know this area was it was a kind of absolute disaster zone because of that uh, big volcano you can see behind me um, so if that is something historically you know you really feel you have to do then by all means do that I don't think the tickets were much I think it was about it was between 10 and 15 euros to gain entrance and then you've just got to walk up to the top but obviously we missed out on that and so that's not something unfortunately i've been able to provide in this and then you have to kind of decide yourselves whether that's something you'd like to do but as a place sorrento i can 100 percent recommend it's incredible like i said our hotel earlier was fantastic but there's many others here as well restaurants we haven't had one bad meal we've been very very fortunate but you know those ones i've just recommended are all fantastic um and yeah beautiful place capri's lovely um you know i've had some people i've spoken to have spent a couple of days staying on capri as well if you wanted to do that for me i'd probably say a day trip was enough um, we got to see pretty much everything we wanted to see and like i see i said if you see me earlier do the chairlift it's incredible it's one of those things that might scare you if you don't like heights when you look at it but my wife's exactly the same and she loved it it was one of those things that you've absolutely when you come off it you're buzzing because of the amazing views being able to see um so yeah sorrento capri pompeii is excellent if you're a history buff i love my history that was fantastic go and see that and then essentially just spend lots of time by the coast because it is beautiful there's other places around here that i still would have liked to see like positano everyone keeps telling me is beautiful as well and you can work your way along the amalfi coast and it's all incredible so uh yeah massive massive thumbs up to sorrento and uh Hopefully, this has helped you make a decision if you wanted to go there, and if not, hopefully I'll be doing other little things like this in the future, and I can show you other places as well. Um, so yeah, enjoy, and enjoy your holidays wherever you may go.